Hi, this is David with Best Rest Products. Today we're going to be talking about the Best Rest Tire Iron Bead Breaker. This is basically a tire changing kit in a pouch. This contains everything you need to change tires in the field, both tubed and tubeless. It weighs about three and a half pounds. It has three tire irons, the components that assemble into a compound levering device that will break the bead on a tubed or tubeless tire. Now a lot of guys talk about using their side stand to break the bead, and there may be guys that have done that. But there's a lot of broken side stands out there in the world, and I can tell you that that's not covered under warranty. This is a kit that you can use in your garage, or you can use in the middle of a field or on top of a mountain. I've changed many tires using just this kit, nothing more than what comes in here. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to do. Every bead breaker comes with a red pouch. It's got tie strings to keep everything neat and orderly. You can also order the bead breaker kit with the tire changing mat which is the three foot by three foot mat that we'll be working on when we do the tire change itself. It comes with a corner piece, comes with a lever, it comes with the plunger assembly, a lock bar, a bottle of bead goop which is a super slippery uh, tire changing lubrication, three tire irons, a set of rim protectors if you care about keeping your rims in good shape, lanyards to hold the rim protectors in place, and then finally it comes with one or uh, one style of valve stem multi-tool. This one with the silver end is for tubeless tires. This one with the black end is for tube tires. What we do is we assemble the components by inserting the tire iron and using the locking pins to hold everything in place. It takes a little practice to figure out the size of your tire and where you need to place the pins. Each tire is different. So what works on the front tire of my 1200 GS, those settings are not the same as the rear tire on my 1200 GS. These ring pins are all captured with small lanyards. And after a minute or so, I have assembled this bead breaking device. One last component to put on is this lock bar. This prevents the tire from moving once you have everything in place. So this slides onto the bar that sits on the ground. So what you see here is a levering device. You have incredible mechanical advantage by using this system. The tire is going to go through here. This little duck bill area right here is going to be pushing on the sidewall of the tire. And as I press down, it's going to break the bead off the tire itself. This bead breaker works for both tubed and tubeless tires, including uh, the ones on BMWs, KTMs, and every other brand that I've ever found. I've used it to change everything from trail bikes to K12 LTs, using nothing more than what's in this kit. Now let's move over to the tire and I'll show you with the bead breaker in place on the tire assembly itself. So we've assembled the bead breaker and we've made the adjustments to the components to get it into the right pin hole so that we get the ideal 30 degree angle of this upper lever. In the printed instructions you'll also see a full line drawing showing you how it should be set up and it'll also tell you the best way to stand or position your body so that you get the most mechanical advantage. In this case I'm working on a display table and I'll have to be working from the side so it's not quite as ideal but I'm quite sure it'll be effective. I push the component in tight with the lock bar. I've got the duck bill or the plunger right between the rim and the tire. And then I simply press down. And there the bead just popped. Easy as can be. I pull the pin. 
I reposition the tire if necessary. Move around a few inches. Reposition the pin. And the bead is broken. Now I can actually work my way around the tire with my hands or with my feet and break the bead all the way around the tire. We're going to turn the tire over, assuming that we're going to do a change or we're going to pull a tube out. And we're going to do the same on the other side. The vertical iron comes up between the spokes. I put my pin in place. Put my duck bill or my plunger on the rubber. And there the bead broke. It would be easier if I was standing in the right position with my feet on either side and the tire in line with my body. But even off to the side on the display table, it worked quite easily. Might be a little harder on a rear tire, but it's still not an issue. Believe me, I've changed a lot of tires on tops of mountains using nothing more than this kit. Set it up again, move a few inches, and break the bead again. So now the bead is broken on both sides of the tire. And if we were going to change tires, we'd go to the next process, which is spooning the rubber off the rim. We'll talk about that in the next episode, but we hope to see you on the trail.